Okay, so I've just uh, uploaded my other video and I've done some analysis of the mortality rates by country. And I've just picked out a bunch of, a few countries here, so not all of them, I've just picked out a few. And I've looked at the confirmed cases, the total confirmed cases as of the 13th of March, the total number of deaths as of, as of the 13th of March, and the total number of recoveds as of the 13th of March. Okay, so I've done that for a bunch of countries and I've looked at the global totals. Okay. And I've calculated mortality rate two ways. The first way is shown in the graph at the moment, and that's mortality rate number one, and that's the number of deaths divided by the number of confirmed cases. Okay, so that's one measure of mortality, number of deaths divided by the total number of confirmed cases per country or globally. And you can see down here it's 3.7% uh, for global, and it's higher in, uh, higher in China. Now this uh, disease started in China, so I would have expected the mortality rate to be higher in China, okay? But it's only 4% in China, but it's seven, a little bit over 7% in Italy. So Italy's above average, and China, I would say, is lower than I would have expected. Okay, so that's one measure for mortality rates. The other measure is that you can get the deaths divided by the deaths plus the recovered. So this, this in other words, this is... Uh, when, the, when the disease has run its course, either you recover or you die. So deaths divided by deaths plus recovered is another measure for mortality. So let's change to that formula and you'll see a different picture changing that mortality. And you'll see here, it changes completely. So I've changed, I've changed this new formula, mortality rate number two, and uh, China's still four point, around 4%, but Italy's now 46%. In other words, uh, nearly half the people who have caught coronavirus have died according to the figures from John Hopkins University and we can see that here let's go let's go into the deaths area and we'll look for Italy and we'll go right across the far side and we'll see there's 1266 deaths and we'll go to the recovered and go right across the far side and we'll see there's only 1439 recoveds so almost half the people died, 1439 recovered and, four, and 1266 died. This is according to John Hopkins University. This isn't my data, this is John Hopkins University data. Okay, so almost half the people in Italy that get coronavirus are dying. We're not being told that in the media. Again, the global rate of death is very low, but that's mainly because China's, I think, China seems to be underreporting deaths. Okay, Thailand's very low as well, but then Thailand's a very healthy country, got beautiful food, <laughs> so is China, um, and other places. Italy's got beautiful food, so um, the US seems to have a, a really high mortality rate. I don't know what's going on there. 79%. What's going on? And so to work out the US total, I went through and I totaled up all of the countries that have US in this column, country, region, US, and there's a whole bunch down here, so a whole bunch of those. Okay, um, total, total up all the US ones and then I'll total up the recoveries for the US ones, which is all down here in the recovery tab. Okay, so I've, I've double checked my figures, my figures are correct, but uh, maybe some of the data coming out of John Hopkins University is not quite right. Maybe it's a little bit out of date for certain regions. Maybe some regions are still reporting data and uh, still coming to grips with the crisis and still working out how to report it or what the, what the exact figures are. It's all a bit of a turmoil, isn't it? So again, I don't want to raise any alarms with these figures. I think I prefer this 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 figure here for mortality. I think this is probably more accurate than the, the first one, the deaths minus confirmed. Okay, that seems to be more accurate. So we've still got a fairly high mortality rate in Italy as well. And uh, globally, um, it's about around about 3.7% globally. Okay, so that's a fair, fairly high mortality rate. It's... Uh, from what I understand, it was, it's higher than the Spanish flu. So, um, still the the uh, the official the official figures, uh, if they're correct, there's absolutely no reason for panic at the moment. But still, take precautions. I mean, if you're going outside and you're going into a shopping centre or crowded place, wash your hands. Maybe wear a mask. Stay away from people who are coughing and uh, and sneezing and whatever. Okay, so just common precautions, definitely worthwhile taking. Anyway, what maybe uh, other people out there could download the data and, and double check my figures, but I'm, I'm certain they're right. I've, I've double checked them already. 
and I've been doing spreadsheets for, for, for decades, so... <laughs> um, uh, and the formulas are really simple, so... Anyway, that's the, 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 the view of the mortality rates. Um, some surprising differences there. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope the video was useful.